Hello everyone, I'm the NASA Science Guy and today I have with me a tutorial video for you guys. Some of you may have seen my previous video in which I played a game with custom weapons. Some people had some concerns, questions on how you do that. So in this video I'm going to tell you how you get EF2 Classic as well as how you would get those custom weapons to work in the service that you play on TF2 Classic. First and foremost, let's go into how you would get TF2 Classic. Now there are two things that you want to do before you try to download TF2 Classic. The first one is to make sure that you have Source SDK Base 2013 multiplayer. That is because a lot of the assets that are utilized are from that. I think usually that should be in your game library. If you want, you would go on here and click tools and it should pop up. If not, the TF2 Classic download page would have an ability to download that and we will see that shortly. The second thing you want to do is to exit Steam. Reason being is once everything is all downloaded and all situated, TF2 Classic would be in our library. So now you would go to the TF2 Classic classic the link will be in the description you would hit download this is where you would go to download it if you don't have source uh, sdk in your library the next thing is you would hit the button depending upon which operating system you use once that's done you would come here you would open up the downloader and of course install the game now once this is opened it will ask you you if you have the source mod that it is in fact looking for, you would hit yes. Now, for a lot of you that are new, you would want to hit install. Depending upon if you guys already have it and you are looking at this from a uh, future, maybe a couple weeks or so, depending upon when they release an update, you would want to do this as well if you want to update the game. So pretty much all you would do is follow this prompt uh, until it says, okay, you're good, you can exit, everything's all set once that's done you can exit this you can open up steam and that is when it will showcase that it is in your library now for those of you who want to see how to download the custom weapons mod that I had in my previous video. To give a little bit of bearings and a little bit of a forewarning for you guys, if you don't like the technical aspects of this and you're not tech savvy and you merely just want to go in and not care about it, you can just simply join any server that says knockout and just join automatically now i wouldn't recommend it simply because of the fact it just takes way too long if you don't have the assets already downloaded already into the tf2 folder that you have there are a couple ways that you can go about this the first way is you would go into the github you can come here you can hit download the zip file you can go over here to the side go to the assets download the assets as well as the source code now if you really want to go to the bare bones of this you can can just download the assets file and then move it into the TF2 custom folder. Me personally, I like to download everything and make sure that it's all set in there and I don't have to worry about anything and I have the backups as well. That is why I personally recommend that you download the asset source code as well as the backup, just making sure everything is all good. So whenever you download those, you want to go in and you want to open downloads folder as well as if you see right here you would go to your programmed files you would go to steam steam apps source mod and in there it should showcase tf2 as well as custom once you go to custom you merely go in and you take them all and put them in here and all done from here all you have to do is look for a server that says knockout or you can either join from their IPs for which I will link in the description or if you want to you can go to the official TF2 knockout website so you would go onto their official page right here which will showcase this little boot up they will also showcase to you commands and such things like that, that you can utilize while you're playing on their servers they show off their discord as well as they show you the update page you can click on that update page this will also bring you to their assets as well as showcasing you what servers can be joined now a little bit of a disclaimer all the do servers relating to this mod unfortunately right now is on eu servers 
If you guys have any questions, any at all, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. I'm not saying I'm a complete super genius, but I will try to help you guys in any which way I can. Also, be sure to check out my socials like my Twitch. I'm eventually going to post a streaming schedule on my YouTube channel on one of the post pages. So be sure to look out for that. And with that out of the way, I will see you all in the next video.